She was the mistress of the most haunted house in history. A reclusive madwoman commanded by the spirits of those killed by her husband's invention. Driven to create a seven-story labyrinth filled with bizarre features designed to confound the spirits. Staircases leading to nowhere, windows looking on nothing, and doors dropping into thin air. Hey guys, this is Rachel with BigAdult.com and this weekend I went to see the Winchester Mystery House. Now if you don't know what the Winchester Mystery House is, there's actually a new movie coming out about it starring Helen Mirren. It is this sprawling Victorian mansion that is located in San Jose, which is just south of San Francisco. And the legend goes that it was built by Sarah Winchester after the death of her husband, the inventor of the Winchester rifle. Basically, she was commanded by the spirits of those who were killed by the Winchester rifle to build this never-ending home for the spirits to hide in and for her to escape them. So it's got all these weird features to confound the spirits, like staircases that go to nowhere and windows that are in the middle of a room. I have always wanted to see the Winchester Mystery House. I was obsessed with spooky, scary stuff when I was a kid, and I've read about the Winchester Mystery House since I was tiny. So I did a bunch of research before I went to visit. And now I kind of wish I didn't because I found out the real truth behind the Winchester Mystery House. In truth, there isn't a lot of information about Sarah Winchester. She was super private. She didn't do any interviews, didn't have any diaries. Plus it was the 1800s, so a lot of records are lost. But a new book called Captive of the Labyrinth unearthed some documents that shed new light on just what Sarah Winchester's motivations were for building the house. Spoiler alert, it was in spirits. So let's dig into the myths of the Winchester Mystery House and look at the real truth behind them. Sarah Winchester was a haunted recluse controlled by spirits. Okay, recluse, sure. I prefer the term introvert. Yes, Sarah Winchester was a private person, but she was also an incredibly smart person. She was raised by a great family. She knew five languages. She read through the classics. Another important thing to know about her, her father was a famous carriage maker. So she had a real interest in woodworking and, get this, architecture. Now, for a woman in the 1800s, early 1900s, there were not a lot of opportunities in architecture, either for practice or for education. So she had to make it a hobby. She wasn't forced to build, she wanted to build. In the midst of a seance, a medium told Sarah Winchester to leave her home in the east and travel to the west to build her home to house the spirits. Poor Sarah was just not having a lot of luck out east. It was cold and nasty, she lost her child, she lost her husband of 15 years. So yeah, the east wasn't treating her real well. Her friends were suggesting she go somewhere warm, try a new change of scenery, and take up a hobby that would distract her from her grief. Furthermore, there's no proof that Sarah Winchester was deeply into the occult. Yes, spiritualism was really big at this time in the Victorian era. Lots of people were doing seances and contacting mediums. And perhaps Sarah Winchester did have a passing interest in spiritualism, but nothing is indicating that she was obsessed with it enough to be building a house commanded by spirits. Ah, but what about the house's weird features? Staircases to nowhere, windows that look to nothing. I get it, sure, all those things sound crazy. But let's put them into context. First of all, she was an amateur. She had no real architectural training. So yeah, I bet mistakes were made. Second of all, when you're building onto a house and constantly adding on new additions, sometimes exterior walls are gonna become interior walls or floors are gonna become ceilings. So the idea that you might have a skylight and a floor or a window and an inside wall is not totally strange. Third of all, you have to take into account the earthquake of 1906. It forced whole sections of the house to be shuttered and plastered over. So a lot of the strange things we see like staircases going to nowhere are due to the 1906 earthquake. And finally, you also have to consider Mrs. Winchester's disabilities. She had terrible arthritis that only allowed her to move her limbs a certain amount and she used heat to alleviate her pain a lot. So knowing that the two inch stair steps that weave through the house aren't so strange or the hall of fireplaces where she has a ton of fireplaces to keep her warm doesn't seem that weird. Aha, but what about all the number 13? There's 13 everywhere, 13 steps, 13 chandeliers. Yeah, 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 13. Look, the Winchester Mystery House is privately owned and those private owners make quite a bit of money off of all this spooky legend that tourists come to go see. 
it is in their interest to keep up this spooky legend. And hey, if that means screwing on a 13th coat hook or adding in a 13th chandelier, they'll do that. All told, we just don't know a lot about Sarah Winchester, and people have chosen to take these gaps in knowledge and fill it with legend. So take a reclusive woman obsessed with architecture and suddenly it turns into a haunted mad woman building a labyrinth. I'm not saying don't go see the Winchester movie. I'm not saying don't go see the Winchester house. It's a really fun thing to think about. It's an amazing piece of architecture. And yeah, it's fun to get silly and spooky. This has been Rachel at BigKidult.com. If you liked this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you would like to see more videos like this, hit the subscribe and I shall haunt your YouTube feed into the future.